Hello everyone, Kevin Grickle here from Tech Normality, the blog that focuses on tech guides, tech news, and tech reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Norton boot Bootable Recovery Tool. Um, this is a tool that you can use if your computer is non-functioning uh, or highly infected with malware to get you back up and running in a uh, fashion. It might not clean all the items, but it will get you back to somewhat of a, a normal basis, I guess you can say. Um, so with that being said, I am going to load this virtual machine up with a bunch of malware samples that I have downloaded. Uh, so there's a ton of malware here. I'm going to go ahead and run them on the computer without an antivirus. I did have um, the virus protection Microsoft Defender disabled. Uh, so if you hang around for just a minute, we'll go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, we are back, and as you can see, I have loaded up the system with a ton of malware here. Uh, I think I've ran through about 100 samples or so that I had downloaded, so there is a lot of activity that's going on here in the computer. Um, there's a lot of unwanted processes as well. I can't even open up my task manager as it keeps on closing it out, so there is some malicious activity going on in the computer here. Um, so we will go ahead and boot up to Norton um, Bootable Recovery Tool and see how it performs. Um, we do have uh, this PC cleaner application that's installed, and we also have some ransomware on the computer. So I know that we will not be able to get past the ransomware, but we will see if we can get the computer back to a usable state by possibly um, allowing us to uh, install a different antivirus application or some something of that sort. So let's go ahead and uh, pause really quick. I'm going to boot up the Norton Recovery Tool, and I will be back with you here in a second. All right, we are back here, and I finally got it booted up to the Norton Bootable Recovery Tool. I was having some issues with the VM there, trying to get the uh, ISO to boot, so we did get that fixed. And we're going to go ahead and continue here with the um, scanning of our computer. So I will go ahead and start the full scan. Um, you can actually copy selected files to computer, uh, to a USB storage device to make a copy if you wanted to. We're just going to go ahead and hit Start Scan. And we're going to go ahead and let this complete. Okay, we are back after about two and a half hours or so. The scan is finally completed. So we're going to go ahead and click fix on this. And I didn't want you all to sit through this scan as it took two hours. So we'll go ahead and uh, come back here whenever the scan or this fix actually finishes. And we're back in the desktop. We'll see our results and where we're at. Okay, so we just booted back up into Windows. And as you can see here, there are still a number of programs that are enabled uh, that are malware based that were not removed from these uh, Norton boot bootable recovery based tool. So there are some malware still on the system. Um, as you can see, there are still encrypted files. So the ransomware was not removed from the um, actual recovery tool scan as well. So now what we're gonna do is actually gonna jump into malware bytes and Hitman Pro and run a scan and see what the results are. And when we come back, we will see what those scans bring us. So hold on just another second. Okay, so final results from Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro are as follows. Um, Malwarebytes found a total of 132 objects, um, potentially unwanted PC. That's what, that was that fake antivirus PC Clean Plus. Um, there's some Trojans in here. Um, so there are quite a few items still left on the computer. And if you look over here on Hitman Pro, there's a total of four items that are shown. So those items are also, um, with the exception of Combo Fix, are still on the computer. A couple things to keep in mind whenever you're using Norton Bootable Recovery Tool. It does take a long time to scan because you're not actually on the operating system. So it does take quite some time to scan through all of your files. Um, but there are still a lot of threats on the computer. Um, so it's not a antivirus overall, so you, you should definitely have a real-time shield antivirus running in addition to um, a firewall. So I recommend this is only as a rescue tool. It's not something to be used uh, whenever you get threats on your computer on a daily basis, so keep that in mind as well. Um, overall, it didn't do a very good job as there's still a ton of threats on the computer. Um, it did an okay job to get us back to a usable operating system, but there are still a lot of hidden files in here. Uh, with that being said, please comment, rate, and subscribe this video. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment below and I will respond to you as, as quick as possible. And I thank you for watching the video and hope you all have a good one.